Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. If you have a Ford Focus, guys, and you have a code P0135, stay with us, guys. We'll explain how to fix that today. Now, quick introduction, guys. Every car we get at the shop, we'll be making, guys, at least 200 videos on it because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. Code P0135 is related to oxygen sensor, guys. Upstream oxygen sensor, or this is known as the oxygen sensor before the catalytic converter. So in today's video guys, we'll explain how to test it, how to demonstrate if it's working, if it's not, and how replacing the sensor will fix our problem. Make sure you stay until the end. Let's start on it now. So this is guys the scanner that we'll be using. It's made by Foxwell. You can find the link in the description of the video below. If you need to buy a new oxygen sensor, we'll have the links as well. That way guys, if you need anything, you can check out part numbers and things like that. Now, on that Ford Focus guys, uh, right here under the dash you'll be able to find the obd connection plug the scanner okay that's all we need to do now we're going to go inside guys i'm going to go ahead start the car and show you how the engine light is on and how we're going to scan the system so check it out now i'm going to go ahead start the car and you're going to notice guys that the engine light just stays on all the time no matter what you do, let me turn the light off so you can see even a little bit better maybe. Okay, engine light is just on guys. So, what we're going to do now. I'm going to turn the car off. Then I'll turn the ignition back on. And right here now guys, okay, this is the scanner. And what we'll be doing, we'll click enter to enter OBD. It's going to take a little bit of time to communicate and all that stuff it's establishing communication it says codes found one now you have two different modules scan both of them you can find codes under both of them sometimes but usually ours is under the second one it really depends yours may be the first one we'll click read codes it's important to check stored and pending codes as well why because the pending means that the code is there but it hasn't been long enough to actually trigger the engine light and being sent to the hard memory of the computer o2 sensor heater circuit bank one sensor one sensor one means that it's the upstream oxygen sensor the one before the catalytic converter we'll show you which one and that's the only code that we have here as well what we can do now guys okay we can actually go back and click live data why so we can see if that sensor is working or not. Now, it's going to take just a little bit of time to connect. It may take just a couple of seconds. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and start the car. Okay, the car is started. Wow. Okay, we're establishing connection here. We'll click view data. Complete data set. And now if we scroll to the right, we're going to find our oxygen sensors okay and this is guys sensor one bank one down there you see it just says zero it's not working at all even if i rev the car up nothing guys it doesn't change so let me turn the car off and show you what needs to be done to fix that problem now so this Ford Focus is with the 2.0 engine, but if you have guys the 1.0, 1.6, the procedure practically will be the same. You just need to find your exhaust site, exhaust manifold. This is where the gas, okay, that's burned, uh, goes out of the engine. Exhaust is on the back side, right there, guys. And looking at it that way, okay, I'm trying to show you here now. This sensor, the first one, this is before the catalytic converter, this is upstream. The one all the way, okay, down there, this is downstream. Okay, this one down there is downstream. This one here is upstream, guys, as you can see. So, now guys, we'll go ahead and replace ours. If you want to see the video, it's on the channel from start to finish. That explains how to replace the oxygen sensor. Make sure that you did on a cold engine because otherwise you can severely, guys, hurt yourself. This is the socket that we use, it's a special uh, oxygen sensor socket removal. Okay, this is amazing guys, amazing too, very inexpensive, but without, without that too, it can cause quite a bit of damage. And you may not be even able to remove the oxygen sensor if you 
if you damage it. So I'll definitely recommend to check the two. We'll have the link in the description of the video below. We'll go ahead and replace ours. Again, the video will be on the channel. Today's video is to see if replacing the sensor will fix that problem now. So the sensor has been replaced, guys. Now I'll go inside and what we're going to do first. We'll start the car. Okay, car is started. And before I even, guys, okay, before I even reset the code and the light and all that stuff, I want to make sure that this sensor is working. In some cases, you may have to reset it before you actually see it working. But our sensor is actually showing certain numbers. Check it out, it goes up and down. That's how it should be, guys. Okay. You can see, and if I rev the car up, check out what's going to happen. So this is a good working sensor. When you rev the car up, it needs to go up. When you let it down or let off of it and it's not revving up, it needs to go down. So from that point on, what we can do, we can go ahead, turn the car off and we just need to go, go back and actually delete uh, clear the codes now by clicking erase codes erase down and if we start the car we shouldn't have the light on now check it out perfect so that's how you guys do it thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time